Hello friends, welcome back to DigiTalk. In this session, I am going to cover the difference between Oracle WebLogic Server and Fusion Middleware Infrastructure. Okay, so Fusion Middleware Infrastructure is also a, a separate version of your Oracle WebLogic Server, but few more enhancement to support your Fusion Middleware products. Okay, and along with that, I am going to cover the Fusion Middleware architecture. That means, if you are going to work on any of the Fusion Middleware products like uh, Sova Suite, uh, Web Center, IDM, OAM, OID, Okay, so what is the process that you have to follow for each and every product, okay, to set up the complete end-to-end -end environment. So, there is a basic structure that you have to follow for almost all of the Fusion Middleware products, okay. So, if you have a complete clarity on that, what exactly the process we need to follow, then is it, it is easy for you to understand and to implement the things, okay. So, let me uh, begin with the difference between your Oracle WebLogic Server and Fusion Middleware infrastructure so what exactly is the oracle uh, weblogic server if you do not have any idea on middleware infrastructure okay and you have uh, some experience on the oracle weblogic server then we know about that it is a core application server or you can say it's a core java based application server which we use to deploy the application right and along with the deployment we have a lot of more different features to support our applications for example we can configure the data source for the database connections uh, we can have a clustering for the high availability we have a security framework we can, where we can configure the user and password and along with that there are a lot of more features but that is completely a part of the core application server okay uh, so we can say weblogic server is a core java based application server okay so let me write it here as well let me take a text box okay so let me write it here weblogic server okay so weblogic server as i said uh, this is a java based based core application server okay and what we can do there we can uh, deploy the applications configure data source configure jms configure security realms like where we configure the user groups and multiple things okay now apart from that we can do a lot of more configurations uh, okay for example we can configure the cluster for high availability okay there are a lot of more there but these all are the features okay specifically which is related with a core application server these are the core application functionalities these do you require for your application to work right so now if you talk about the fusion middleware infrastructure so what exactly is the fusion middleware infrastructure so let me write it first fusion middleware sorry middleware and then infrastructure okay so now let me give you an idea on that as well what exactly is a fusion middleware infrastructure so as i said this is again a version of your oracle weblogic server okay but with the extra capabilities extra capabilities means there are a lot of different uh, feature that has been incorporated in in on top of your weblogic okay to support your middleware applications so the first thing what exactly inside the fusion middleware infrastructure we have a core weblogic server or you can say core Ah, that is sufficient so now that what does it mean core weblogic servers that means uh, all the features that you have in the weblogic server it is completely there in your fusion middleware infrastructure as well right so now what else apart from that one so now apart from that there are two major component the first one is your grf which is called java required files okay and second you have some additional infrastructure components now these two features which is java required file and additional uh, infrastructure component okay so these two are specifically to support the middleware products which we install on top of our weblogic or which we install on top of our fusion middleware infrastructure so what does it mean when i'm talking about that we install on top of fusion middleware infrastructure i will clear i will clear that on you on that as well okay i will explain that as well so now as of now what you can understand uh, in this one where we are saying 
the fusion um okay fusion middleware infrastructure so here we have a core biologic server along with that we have two important component that is called jrf java required files and additional infrastructure component that is to support your middleware products so now what exactly we have inside the jrf and what exactly we have additional infrastructure component okay so at a very high level jrf are this set of libraries there are a lot of different libraries that has been incorporated in the jrf okay to support your fusion middleware products right so if i talk about the set of libraries along with that you have a certain tools okay in which you can say opss which is uh, the oracle platform security services which contain all of the uh, which is a schema in the database in the fusion middleware which contain all of the security related configurations along with that you have a uh, adf let me delete it from here application development framework okay to support the middleware applications and then metadata services so you have a multiple uh, middleware component like so uh, web center portal web center content idm oem okay so all those product has a metadata okay uh, specifically related with that particular software which is stored in the uh, your database okay that is called the metadata services or which support the metadata which is stored in your database so these are the certain high level of set of uh, component that you have inside the grf okay now along with that uh, we have the additional infrastructure component as well okay so in this additional infrastructure component you can uh, consider the em console you have a em console okay which is also called the em tool okay and it's also referred as uh, fusion middleware tool okay there are two or three naming conventions but the basic one is em console we, we know about it em console okay and along with that metadata repositories okay so here we have a metadata services and for that particular metadata services we have the uh, corresponding data which we store in the database okay and where we create the various metadata repositories okay which is used by your metadata services okay so at a very high level these are the different tools and this is a major difference between your web logic server and the fusion middleware so as i said in the fusion middleware infrastructure we have a core web logic server which is here as well in the plain web logic server along with that to support your uh, middleware products uh, you have the grf which is called a java required file okay which is a set of libraries and different tools along with that you have a additional infrastructure component now to support this jrf and the additional infrastructure component one mandatory requirement is that you need a database why need because as i said you are all of the metadata services and opss data this is stored in the database that means your middleware component or middleware softwares always need a database for these kind of a services okay when you say about jrf and when you say about the em console opss adf metadata services metadata repositories you need a certified database for that this is one of the other requirement for your fusion middleware applications okay so now what all we have in the middleware we have multiple kind of a softwares okay you may heard about the sova suite okay and then uh, web center for web center you have a portal you have a web center content and many more related okay you have a idm suite in idm you have a oem for the single sign on okay along with that you have a ltap server which is oid okay oid okay similarly you have many more uh, fusion middleware component from the oracle okay so how we do the installation and configuration of all these middleware component or basically what is the architecture of your fusion middleware infrastructure okay so now let me take you on the architecture as well okay which is very straight forward and very easy to understand so whenever you are going for the uh, installation configuration of any of the uh, fusion middleware product or you can say almost more than 90% of uh, fusion middleware uh, products okay so it follow a basic structure so the first thing is you have to make sure you have to install the oracle let me remove it and let me write it fusion middleware 
infrastructure. Okay, so this is the basic requirement for your installation and configuration of your middleware component, right? Because this is the base application server for all of your middleware components. So that means whatever the uh, uh, the software that we have from the uh, Oracle, okay, which we call as a so, uh, middleware software, it installed on top of your application server. Right. So here we can't go with the WebLogic server because for the middleware component, which we, we deploy on top of the WebLogic or you can say specifically on the Fusion middleware infrastructure, it needs the JRF and some these all these components as well. And WebLogic doesn't support that one. So if you are going for the installation configuration of the middleware tools or middleware software, first you need to install the Fusion middleware infrastructure. You have a separate installer for that one. Okay. And you can download and you can install that. So once that is installed, second you have to install your middleware component okay so middleware component maybe you are installing the soa uh, maybe you are installing some web center product like web center portal um, content and many more okay so for this one this is the prerequisite that means first you have to install the base application server because your all of this middleware component deployed on your fusion middleware infrastructure so before doing this, you have to install the Fusion middleware infrastructure. Once it is done, you have to install the middleware component like SOA, Web Center, etc. And once you are doing the installation, it prompts you for to provide the Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure directly, which is called the Oracle Home. And if it is not installed, it will not allow you to move forward. Right? So this is the dependency because it deployed on top of your middleware infrastructure, which is the WebLogic server. Right? Third, when when you have you have, you have done with the installation of your middleware, you have to make sure you have a proper database in place. If it is not, you have to install that one because, as I said, your Fusion middleware infrastructure and and the middleware component has a dependency on database for GRF and then repositories. So once your database is created, you have to run the RCU, which is called the repository creation utility. Okay, so this utility create schemas in your database. Okay. So as I said, your middleware, all the middle, almost all the middleware component need a supported uh, uh, database, and for this metadata services, all the data is stored in your database. So for that, you need some tables, table spaces where the data is going to be stored. So once you will uh, run the RCU, which come bundled with your middleware component, you don't need to install, uh, download it separately. Now from TallC onward, it is completely bundled with your middleware product. So once you have downloaded and installed your SOA web center or any other middleware product, this RCU utility will be bundled with the product okay so you have to run this one and it will automatically create uh, uh, the desired or required schemas and the corresponding table space and tables and then it will automatically load the corresponding data okay so once you will run the rc you have to select which component you are going to install so it will automatically create the schemas of that corresponding product only okay for example if you are going to uh, when you are running the rcu and if you have installed the soa so during the creation of rcu you select the soa Okay, then it will automatically create the corresponding schemas of the SOA tables and metadata as well. Okay, so once this is done, you have done with the installation of physical middleware infrastructure, you have done the installation of middleware component, you have database in place, you have now created the RCU schemas. So next is to create your domain. Okay, so once your domain is ready, then you can access your consoles, right? And for some of the product, you may have to follow some of the initial configurations from the console. That means you have a may you may have a uh, one time activity for the setup from console. So this is not for all products. Okay, for example, uh, if you are going for a web center uh, or a web center content. Okay, so you may have to follow uh, some steps uh, from the console after the installation. But if you uh, if you go for the SOA and then portal, then it is not required okay so that means once you have done with the uh, domain creation after that you have started the services okay after that you can directly access the console and your services are up and running so this is the basic uh, uh, architecture of your middleware component and for most of the middleware components you have to follow the same process for the installation and configuration download the middleware infrastructure download the corresponding middleware software Okay, and make sure you have database in place. If it is not, you have to download and install the database as well. So once this is done, install the middleware infrastructure first. Install the middleware component and during the installation, specify the middleware infrastructure location, which is called the Oracle Home. 
Then database in place, you can run the RCU, which is bundled with your software, create the schemas. After that, create the domain. And then you can access the console. And for some of the products, you may have to follow certain step from the console to do the one-time setup of the products. So this is a discussion about the difference between plain WebLogic server and your Fusion middleware infrastructure installer. Okay, and then what is the architecture of your Fusion middleware uh, components and how we follow the installation.